All right, it's a bit of a different video, but today I'm going to share with you guys how Hermosi was able to collect more cash up front, charge more for services, and close more piss using a very simple tactical hack that you guys can use in your business today. So, first things first is let's break let's break down or let's overview um, what normal people how they pitch their piff, what it looks like. Well, it looks something like this. Okay, how we priced the program before. The price is 10k if you pay it now, and uh, and then maybe they say no or there's an objection. And you say fine, I can, I can bring it down to 5k for two months or 2.5k for four months or as a matter of fact, some people would say it's 10K if you pay today, and if you don't pay today, it's 3K for the next four months. Which, if you don't already understand, that makes people not feel very good. They're like, whoa, what? Just because I'm, I don't have as much money, I have to start paying more now? That doesn't make them feel very good. It doesn't play to human psychology, right? A lot of sales is psychology. And we want to use human psychology to our advantage, not disadvantage when in sales. And this does not play to human psychology's advantage, okay? However, what does is what I'm about to show you guys. So this is what Alex Ramosi came up with and how he priced, or I should rather say pitched his piffs in gym launch that allowed him to close a lot more. So Here's how it worked. He would say, the price is 10 grand paid across the four months of the program. Or if you wanted to save 20%, which is roughly $2,000, you can prepay it up front and that makes it just $8,000 today, which works best for you. Now, there's one more step to this, one more level to this actually that I'll share with you in a minute. But first, let's break down and, and dive into this so we can understand why this works so well. Um, how you can apply it. So the first thing is first is you've already done a price anchor, right? Price is made up and price people, when people say price, uh, something is expensive, it's relative to something. And so, uh, and actually another good sales trick you can use is when pitching your price, if you have a range, always say the higher number first. So people, so you know, people will say, oh, what's the range of go? Oh, 200 to 500. Always start with the higher number first. So instead of saying it's two to 500, yeah, say it's about 500 to 200. Cause what does that do? Well, instantly the first number you say is where you set their bar. Right before somebody knows the price, they don't have a bar. And the second you set a number, that becomes their bar, and it's usually their low point. And they're like, "Uh oh, it's going to be more expensive after this." Right? And so everything seems relatively expensive compared to the first number you said. And so if you say the highest number first, everything else seems relatively cheap compared to the first number you said. That's another psychology act, which is implemented in this, which is why we say 10K first. So 10K paid across the four months. And what I'll tell you some more psychology, right? Why this works so well? People intrinsically as humans we would rather we would we would work harder to not lose something than to gain something new let me give you an example if you had a hundred dollar bill you would work harder or do more to not lose that hundred dollar bill than you would to gain it so the moral of the story is people would rather uh, keep the thing they have than get something new People just like to safeguard things they have, right? Because they already have it. And so it's, you, you, I think you kind of get the point here. If you had a bunch of money, you would rather keep the million dollars you have than gain a million new, right? It's just how people work intrinsically. That's who humans are. Humans are relatively the same in some way, shape, or form. This is human psychology, and that's why we want to use it to our advantage in sales, not to our disadvantage, okay? So let's break it down. 10K first, price anchors, boom, number one. The second thing is you pitch the PIF as a discount, as a benefit to them. So instead of... Pitching it is like, oh, I want the PIF because it makes sense to me. You make it make sense to them. So you say, or if you want to save 20%, which is $2,000, which like we said, people would rather save something than gain something. So saving $2,000, you can prepay it up front. That makes it just $8,000 today, which works best for you. And now people are like, well, well, this actually seems like a really good deal. I get to save $2,000? It's like, yes. They're like, oh, that seems like a great deal. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Boom. Close the PIF. You collect them more up front. Awesome right? Beautiful. And if they say no, that's fine. Then you're getting 10K over the four months, right? And if you don't know why we do PIFs, usually people don't make it the whole four months because the churn is relatively high in a lot of agencies because people can't retain their customers. And so the more you collect up front, um, the more you can, the, the more you collect up front, everything, everything goes well from that because the better talent you can hire, the more you can pay to acquire a customer. Um, and the, usually the higher LTV you have from your customers, a lot of benefits to having PIFs. Um, I won't dive into that into this video because that's uh, for a whole separate video, but just a bit of insight there. However, there's more to this and there's, there's another level that Alex Mosey used to be able to close even more PIFs because truth be told, some people would just rather pay, well, 2,500 sounds safer. Fair enough. I don't blame them, right? People would rather pay less up front because it's just safer. So 2,500 versus 8,000, it's less risky to put it at 2,500. So people would rather put it at 2,500 because they don't, they haven't experienced the service yet. So they're, they're a bit skeptical. Fair enough. And that's where Hermosi realized there's another step to this. Okay. There's another little golden nugget, if you will. So here's the cherry on top. Mosey counted this next tip that I'm going to give you guys to 33% more of his piffs. I think if that number's correct, don't quote me on that. Um, and Jim Lunch. So here it is. 
okay? What he would say is if they would opt for the retainer, right, the four months, right, they say, yeah, we'll split over four months, he would say, okay, no worries, perfectly fine, let's do that. Just an FYI, my offer still stands for the next 30 days before your next payment is due. So, you pay $2,500 today, before your next payment of $2,500, so for the next 30 days, if you still want to take me up for the $8,000, I will deduct the $2,500 from the $8,000, and you can just pay the remainder before then. Cool? Cool. And so what this does is it gets people to buy in at a lower price. And once they're in and see that they can trust you and you've done a good job, they're like, well, I'm going to, if after the first month, if they're going to stay, they're like, if they, if they commit to staying, they'll likely keep staying. And so like, well, if I'm going to pay the next 2,500, three more times, I might as well just pay this much now because you save more money. Right, and that's what people think, but they're skeptical to the front because they don't know you as well. And so, what happens here, like I just said, people are like, "Well, I've already paid twenty five hundred, so now let's do the math." Okay, pull out your calculator. They already paid twenty five hundred, and they have to pay eight thousand total. So now, come the second month, they'd only have to pay, if you guys can see, your fifty five hundred. And so now, at the end of the month, before their next payment of twenty five hundred, they could literally pay just over double, and they'd be done for the entire four months for the entire program. And so this is an even better way to add on to this because not everybody will take you up on this. And so that's why you extend the offer for this, okay, for the, for the 30 days. And this is genius, right? And there's, there's a lot of psychology and sales tactics that go into this. But at the end of the day, this just benefits and uses human psychology to our advantage, not to our disadvantage in sales, which is what we always want to do, right? We want to use human psychology to our advantage, not our disadvantage, Okay, so this is a very, very, very simple way and a very tactical tip that you can implement today, right, by just changing and you can use this exact wording. This is almost verbatim from Hermosi. I just copied it. Okay, that you can start using so you can close more PIFs, right? You can collect more money up front. Okay, you can collect more money up front. Uh, you can close more PIFs. You can increase your LTV. You can hire better talent. You can get better results quicker because you have not, now you have more money to spend and you can pay more to acquire a customer. So, hope that this uh, little tip that I learned from Hermosi the other day can help you guys out. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a, drop a subscribe. And uh, if you are looking... Uh, to join a community filled with a bunch of amazing entrepreneurs, click that link down below, join my free community, and uh, let's network and connect with each other and grow. Anyways, have an amazing day. Use this tip. Let me know if it works for you. Catch you in the next one. Peace.